This is one of those uh, uh, situations where I want to walk a fine line between letting you know this is out there, but also not wanting to scare the bejeebers out of you because this thing is very, very far away in distance and in time. It is Hurricane Irma. Yesterday it was a little bit stronger. Now today it weakened. Now it's back up in strength. You can see the eye is quite, quite clear on this storm. But it, look at how small it is in the grand scheme of things. For this storm to hit us, it's like a needle in a haystack for it to make a direct hit on our coastline, uh, especially when it's that far away uh, and uh, and that great a distance, that great a distance, and that much time involved with what's going to be happening with this. It would likely be at least 10 days away from anywhere near our coastline. Where's it going? Well, here's the latest from the Hurricane Center. 120 mile an hour winds, Category 3 storm. Here's where it goes over the next several days. Curvature of the Earth uh, kind of distorts it, but basically it's moving westward uh, coming up over the next several days. There's where things are by Wednesday. Next Wednesday, it's not even close to our part of the world. Atlantic Standard Time, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 130 mile an hour winds. It's a low Category 4 storm. Here's another look at forecast models in terms of what they're doing. Is the Euro, and that is in the light colored, uh, in the uh, turquoise color, and the GFS is in the purple color. I want to show you what's going on. Earlier, they were taking this storm right on up through here, uh, and basically right, uh, earlier in the day today, uh, they were taking it right on up through here by next Sunday and Monday. So here's where they're going now with the thing. Starts it here. Where do they go? I mean, again, uh, the Euro is the light colored, and the uh, GFS, the American model, is the purple colored. Now the Euro has diverged and gone a little bit closer to the coastline, on up toward Florida. A couple of days ago, it was shooting it on off into the uh, Gulf of Mexico through the Florida Straits. So the forecast models, this is a week from Monday, a week from Labor Day that it's doing this. So the forecast models really are uh, not really ha having a good handle this far in advance in terms of what this thing is going to be doing. But is there a chance it could get us? Yeah, really, really small chance. But there's a chance. Do you really want to watch what this thing is going to be doing coming up over the next s several days into next week and all the way into next weekend and beyond? Ira and the I mean, Irma and the remnants of what's going on, of course, uh, with Harvey. Harvey is right on down into here, but they're remnants of the storm that's pushing some moisture on up into our part of the world, some tropical humidity, which could produce some heavy rain. We've got cooler air over the top of us. There are some thunderstorms off to the west of us. Those thunderstorms will likely turn into pockets of heavy rain, but not so much thunder and lightning uh, because we're, it's rolling into some cooler air over the top of us. We've got temperatures in the 60s all day today. Those where things are by 1 o'clock in the morning. Tonight, those are our 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll be a little cool and then start to warm up at the very end of the day. Not all that much rain during the day tomorrow. Uh, it'll be in the 70s and low 80s. And then at the very end of the day, on into the evening hours, early evening hours, we could see a stray shower or thunderstorm into the region. And then we hit Sunday and Monday, and things are just fine uh, with plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the low to mid 80s for each day, Sunday and Monday. So again, tonight, I think is our best chance at seeing some rain, uh, likely by around 9, 10 o'clock tonight through around 1 o'clock in the morning. And then during the day tomorrow, scattered showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder coming up uh, at the end of the day and into the early evening hours. And then low to mid 80s, beautiful weather coming up on Sunday and Monday. And of course, we should all be watching Irma uh, all the way through the weekend and into next week.